There's a lot of talk about Biden's son, that Biden stopped the prosecution and a lot of people want to find out about that, so whatever you can do with the Attorney General would be great. Biden went around bragging that he stopped the prosecution, so if you can look into it, it sounds horrible to me. Mr. Kent, when you hear those words, do you hear the President participating in or requesting a thoughtful and well-calibrated anti-corruption program? I do not. The defenders of the president's behavior have made a big deal out of the fact that Vice President Biden encouraged the Ukrainians to remove a corrupt former Ukrainian prosecutor, 2016, uh, Mr. Shokin. And in fact, uh, Senator Rand Paul on Sunday said, and I quote him, they're impeaching the president, President Trump for exactly the same thing that Joe Biden did. And I had gotten a commitment from Poroshenko and from uh, Yatsenyuk that they would take action against the state prosecutor and they didn't. So they said they had, they were walking out to the press conference and said, no, nah, I said, I'm not going to, or, or we're not going to give you the billion dollars. They said, you have no authority. You're not the president. The president said, I said, call him. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was what, six hours. I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. And they put in place someone who was solid. Is that correct? Is what the president, uh, what the president did in his phone call and what Joe Biden did in terms of Mr. Shokin, are those exactly the same things? And if not, how are they different? I do not think they are the same things. What uh, former Vice President Biden uh, requested of former president of Ukraine, Poroshenko, was the removal of a corrupt prosecutor general, Viktor Shokin, who had uh, undermined a program of assistance that we had spent, again, U.S. taxpayer money uh, to try to build an independent investigator unit to go after corrupt prosecutors. And there was a case called the Diamond Prosecutor case in which Shokin destroyed the entire uh, ecosystem that we were trying to help create. The investigators, the judges who issued the warrants, the uh, law enforcement that had warrants to, to do the wiretapping, everybody to protect his former driver whom he'd made a prosecutor. That's what Joe Biden was asking, remove the corrupt prosecutor. So, so, so Joe, Joe Biden was participating in an open effort, established whole of government effort to address corruption in Ukraine. That is correct. Um, Dr. Hill, are you aware of any evidence to support the allegations against Vice President Biden? I am not, no. And in fact, um, Mr. Holmes, the former uh, prosecutor general of Ukraine, um, who Vice President Biden encouraged to fire, was actually corrupt, is that right? Correct. And was not pursuing corruption investigations and prosecutions, right? My understanding is uh, the, the prosecutor general at the time, Shokin, uh, was not at that time pursuing investigations of Burisma or the Bidens. And in fact, removing that corrupt prosecutor general was part of the United States anti-corruption policy, isn't that correct? That's correct, and not just us, but all of our allies and other institutions that were involved in Ukraine at the time. Mr. Kent, as you look at this whole mess, Rudy Giuliani, President Trump, in your opinion, was this a comprehensive and whole of government effort to end corruption in Ukraine? Referring to the request in July? Exactly. Uh, I would not say so, no sir. Yeah, I don't. I don't think President Trump was trying to end corruption in Ukraine. I think he was trying to aim corruption in Ukraine at Vice President Biden and at the 2020 election. And I yield back the balance of my time.